Ryan with Mess Geek here, and today we're looking at one of the final QCX Mini Mini tips that I'm going to have with regard to the construction of the radio. And this one is pretty simple. We've got the case here, which is optional. You can, of course, supply your own case, you know, build your own case. But I thought it'd be nice to have the official QRP Labs case. It is rather handsome. Uh, a couple things regarding um, construction. Now, I, I've already assembled the case itself, but before you put the back clamshell on, you've got to make sure you put in all the nylon bolts that hold the uh, uh, boards together. And uh, when you put those in, just don't put, don't tighten them until you get the last one in, because you may need to move around, move things around just a little bit. The same thing goes for the bolts, uh, the screws at the ends. Make sure that you don't actually um, uh, tighten them until they're all in, and then and then snug them down. Now, in the manual, Hans mentions that you need to have some space between the the uh, the, no the knob and the case, and you definitely do. Otherwise, it'll scrape. And so, my tip is to take a piece, uh, just cut a tear off piece of the cardboard box. Uh, I use one of the the um, little flaps that folds down uh, underneath everything else. Tear that off and tear it apart like so. And put that down and use that as a spacer for the knob. And so um, put that on there, press it down. This works really well for the volume knob. And oh, I've got that. There we go. So I've got that on there. Make sure that it uh, is down as far as it goes. And then I can, and then tighten it up. And then pull. And they, I did that with the volume pot and also with this and neither of them is uh, too high and neither of them is, uh, um, is rubbing the case. So that's my tip. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you're enjoying the build of your QCX Mini. And uh, if you have any of your own comments, make sure you leave your own tips. Make sure you leave them below. Thanks for watching. 73, we'll see you next time.